Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for clicking on the video. Hope your day is going fantastic. The one thing I want to warn you about is that if you do not watch these videos of the Back to Big series in preferably sequential order, it's really not going to make much sense to you because we really are just picking up where we left off. So I just finished recording for the last video, but we're going to end the video here. So tune in for episode three and you guys will get to see the big announcement. A little bit of a cliffhanger there, but we're going to get into it now. So I'm going to actually head off to the gym, hit this workout, and we will talk very soon. See you again. I bet you never thought you see the kid in chief in advance. Round the world, suit and beauty, four and three of a friends. Heard that new school's out, now let the week begin. As we embark on this journey, we gon' see till the end. Now in the middle, as I scribble 16s with a pen. The bars is all butter from working a long summer. This for every chick that ever gave me your wrong number. So we're back in the gym on a new program, which is exciting in itself. But what I am mostly excited to tell you guys is that I am going to be coached by two individuals that I have been following for a very long time. Frank and Harry from the Bodybuilding Bros, if you are a YouTube fitness OG, they have rebranded themselves as Synergy Training, but I am very lucky to be working with them. And it's funny how it all came about because I would have never started this channel had it not been for their YouTube channel. I was following them when they were both still in college and the content they were putting out was just extremely relatable. And to this day, I still think it's been one of the best fitness YouTube channels out there. So I became a fan of their channel and then I was like, you know what, I could do this. So that is that was really the last straw that got me to finally be brave enough to start my own channel up. So very fortunate for them for sure and honored to have this opportunity. I mean, these guys, are so knowledgeable and what I want to caution you guys against because some of you are probably hearing their names for the first time but that doesn't matter to me like just because someone has the biggest following out there that does not make them a great coach and that is really one of the messages I want to get across in this video because I think everyone is like trying to get in with these big names and let's use what's that uh that shreds guy that Devin physique guy that had all that controversy like everyone wanted to work with him he had this huge following but he was essentially, you know, like a piece of crap. I mean, he was just frauding all of his clients. So find someone that is knowledgeable, that knows what they're doing, that's willing to work with you, and that's a good match. Like a lot of you probably never heard of Garrett Blevins when I was working with him, but I made more progress on his programming than I have ever before in my life. So I am in very, very good hands. They're very aware of my current injury, so we're gonna try to work around that the best we can, and I'm gonna try to heal up, and I know if I'm able to get healthy, then they are gonna lead me in the right direction. Their progress, especially since their previous bodybuilding competition has just been insane so they definitely know what they're doing and they're just good dudes man I'm just you know they're just like friends and it's, it's cool to be able to work with people like that it's cool to be able to connect with other individuals with common interests and I'm I'm just excited to start this whole thing up be able to document this for you guys so you guys will be seeing some different types of programming still focus on powerlifting but you'll see that there is some power building stuff built in here we're still gonna be doing some fluff work which is pretty awesome so obviously I will keep you guys in the loop on that, but I'm just you know I was uh, I was pretty pumped to, to announce that to you guys and if you remember the old school bodybuilding bros please let me know down below I know some of you guys are real excited about that because I was not the only one that loved their content all right guys that's all I have to say for now we're heading home maybe because I spent half my life in the studio now you know we numero uno and we soon to blow living musical to stay so beautiful people say they love the sound them the ones we do it for so tonight we raise a glass to the beat it go one time for everybody so out here to see the show so no lie, this thing is a forearm workout. And I've never tried zucchini pasta, but I've seen it on Josie's channel back in the day. And I was talking to someone when I was in Colorado, and they were like, you should get a nim neck. And this is what it is. Essentially, it just spiralizes vegetables. So I'm gonna give this a try. Obviously, you get a ton of volume here, which is always a good thing. So I'll probably grill up some chicken. And right as I said that, of course, it looks like it's about to tornado out here. Well, that is no bueno. Beautiful day outside. So since zucchini is mostly water, I'm gonna try to get a lot of the moisture out here so I don't have like soggy noodles. To anybody in specific, do you know what I'm thinking? Because I try to be... No. 
So we're gonna give these, I guess you call them zoodles, a try for the first time. Actually pretty good, you know, I don't know that I've ever had a food that I added marinara to that wasn't good. So maybe that has something to do with it, but zucchini is one of those foods, it's just like, it's one of those savior foods, you know, if you need something low calorie, zucchini is the go-to. So luckily that did not last long and it turned out to be a beautiful day. But when you think about it, every day is a beautiful day as long as you let it. If that sounds overly optimistic, that's because that is what I want to talk about. I got an email yesterday from someone that I work with and I keep this newspaper article hung up in my cubicle all the time. It's just a great reminder for me, especially if I'm having a rough day or something, puts things in perspective and it just, it really does mean a lot to me. And they were moved by the article which is pretty cool that they took the time to read it but optimism is something that I I truly believe can be learned and I'm reading this book that you guys might have might have saw the last video and I don't want to bore you guys I don't want to like read chapters that is extremely boring but just very quickly I wanted to read this part when it says when people base their self-worth on which cannot be taken away they view life's bumps a little differently here's what I took from I think it's Silgman's work impersonal sometimes things just don't work out Isolated. One mistake does not affect the rest of my life. Impermanent things will be better next time. And he even goes on to say how empowering that is, which it is when you think about it. And I, what I get from this is that you can teach yourself to be more optimistic. And inevitably, bad things are going to happen, but it is all about how you react to them. And I think the most enjoyable people to be around that I've found in my life are those that are optimistic. So I, I think I got to the point where it was like, why would I not want to be like that? And I've done a pretty good job over the past few years of kind of implementing more of these strategies into my daily life to, to kind of see the glass half full. And I think it's really done a lot, a lot of good. So that is my spew on that. Another optimistic thought for the day is we are about to make some pizza. And we're going to make the pizza crust out of, you guessed it, cauliflower. I've been putting this off for a long time because I know people that can cook pretty well that have messed this up. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I know I'm going to screw up. But I figured let's just do it. So what I'm going to do, that didn't sound very optimistic, did it? Here I am being a hypocrite. So I'm just gonna put this on the skillet. This is two cups of cauliflower. Then I will add one whole egg into this bowl and I will scramble it around. Then I will throw in one cup of cheese and I will also throw in that cauliflower once it's done cooking up on the skillet. I never regret, man, I just gotta grow. People so fake, man, it's always gotta show. I'm actually shocked how well this turned out, but the problem is, is that it is stuck to this parchment paper, which I don't understand. I thought parchment paper didn't stick, but apparently it does. So I'm gonna show you guys it right now because I guarantee you I'm about to slaughter this thing and it's just, it's about to get all messed up here. And anything I do, ain't nobody gotta know. Gotta know. So semi-serious question, would I die if I just ate the parchment paper? I mean, I don't know. With the spice, I just died oregano, man. I've never quit in the middle of a recipe, but I'm pretty close on this one. Only because it's falling apart because I'm pulling this thing off. Dang, it came out so well too. So close, but it's not gonna happen. I literally had to tear about half the bottom off of it. So it is gonna fall apart, uh, fall apart if I try to make pizza. So I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do with this thing. Am I just calling Audible and great sponsors like Audible, which try to make like a Stromboli type of thing? Or maybe like a calzone, we'll see. So I have no idea what you'd call this, but it's going into the oven for about 10 minutes. I don't even know, man, y'all don't got a clue. Got a clue. Push 21, now you're dreading 22. 22. And I so I don't know what you want to call this thing. Definitely not a pizza, definitely not a calzone or a stromboli. It almost looks like a cauliflower omelet or something, but let's just see how it is. Sit here while I'm whipping in the coop. And I could never turn, I could never take a you. I finally got it right. Definitely not what I expected. Because this thing is fan. Fantastic. Wow. Without a doubt, the best mess up that I've ever had in the kitchen. And you know if it was bad, I would tell you guys. Like that one time I made those beer pancakes. Microwave it. Probably the first time anyone's ever microwaved beer. And drink a beer. We told me, baby. I sometimes I wish your dad would call me son at least one time. Whatever. I probably wouldn't try this one out, guys, to be honest. Well, at least I got half a beer to drink. Those things were awful. Man, I 
finally got it down. Every other week, damn, I've been out of town. So do you guys ever tell people that you're going to be somewhere at a certain time and then you just never make it? I think that's what's happening right now. I don't think I'm leaving tonight. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know what it is, but I was only going a week. But when I switch time zones, it just it crushes me. So I think I'm just going to get to bed early. Call it a night after I eat. Let's do that. Actually, what do, what do you guys do on the weekends? Hopefully watch my YouTube videos. But besides that, what do you do? What are you doing this weekend? That is my question of the video. I want to know what you guys are up to. Hopefully you're having some fun. So there really is a one-carb waffle under that protein icing somewhere. If I just take it day by day. Hopping on a plane, I'm never staying in a state. Yo, lemon, pepper, salmon, what's the rice up on my plate? Yo, see me doing good, man. Oh, you got what's understood does not need to be explained. What great American philosopher said that? Thank you for clicking onto the video. I wanted to do a very quick review of one of my favorite products in the entire world, which is Halo Top Ice Cream, you guys. And I guess I'm just assuming that everyone got the answer to the question, but in case you did not, the answer is Yo Gotti. Well understood, don't get to be explained, so I never reply. Doing what we always wanted, don't ask me why. While I'm flying around the world, won't pass me by. By the way, I know- Well, I lied. So what I love about our relationship, you and me, you and I, is that we have a real friendship. And just like any of my other friends, I keep it real with you guys. I tell you how it is, and you do the same for me. So if I say something and I don't act on it, you guys call me out, which I love. So the other day, I said, You're not going to be seeing any 160s on that scale for a very, very long time. And here I am at 166 pounds, which is ridiculous. Just got back from traveling, which I love to blame it on, but that's just an excuse, right? Obviously, I could have come back at easily at 180 or something from a, a week of traveling with all the amazing food that was around me. But believe it or not, I'm actually pretty reasonable. And uh, th that would be an entire video. So uh, I'm not going to sit here and say anything. All I want to do is apologize to you guys for, for lying, essentially. I mean, I told you it wouldn't happen and it happened, but actions will speak louder than words. Now that I got that little guilt trip out of the way, I gotta ask you guys something. That's usually how the world works anyway. Someone will apologize because they want something. Just kind of what I'm doing right now. So I need your help. I have been loving this Back to Big series. I get so excited when it's time to edit these videos. And I think so far it's going really well. I'm really pleased with the content I'm putting out. But I need to know how long do you prefer these videos? For me, I prefer like 10 to 12 minute videos. And some of these other ones have gotten so long, like 15 to 17 minutes. And my fear is not only does it take me forever to edit those long videos, essentially, you know, double the time. It, I just don't want things to get lost towards the end of the video. And I want this to be about you guys, though. So you let me know what you guys enjoy. And I know I'm going to get answers all across the board. But I'm just going to take probably the majority. And maybe I'll do a little bit of both. So that would really help me out a lot. And now I can stop just running my mouth. I'm just extending the length of the video now. I'm not adding any value to your lives. I apologize. Someone left a very real comment the other day. They said, I talk so fast that it makes them anxious. You know, I think I talk so fast I make myself anxious. So let's end the video right here, right now. I can move on to episode four. I promise you, I'll try to talk a little bit slower. And I will put a shirt on. But it's just so hot and laundry and all that stuff. So thank you guys for sticking with me here. I had so much fun in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You guys really could have been doing anything. And you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That's pretty awesome. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. That thumbs up button, that guy right there. It's so easy for you to do, and it helps me out tremendously. I look forward to talking to you guys next time in episode number four. And by the way, since I am so light, you know uh, there's, there's some exciting things about to go down tonight, so uh, stay tuned. Damn it!